Hey, Scott here, Scotty's Animals. Let's talk about guinea pig names or pet names in general. I found this really fun book when I was at a thrift shop and it's called The Best Pet Name Book Ever. I'm gonna put a link to this book in the description in case you wanted to go through it yourself and have this as part of your own personal library. But before I get started, you probably notice I have my uh, camo shirt on, but some of you might not have actually noticed if you didn't look closely enough that this is guinea pig camo. This is uh, a shirt that I designed myself and I have it on my Etsy shop. I'll put a link to that in the description and I'll also put a card right here. But if you notice closely, there's a bunch of different types of breeds of guinea pigs all meshed together in what I consider guinea pig camo. It's a design that I designed myself and not only can you get this design on shirts, but you can get it on a backpack even, on different types of shoes and uh, even a hip pack. There's a lot of fun designs. I think I even have leggings uh, of different colors, blue, pink, and original camo. So I really encourage you to check out my Etsy shop and your support means the world to me and it goes a long way to helping me foster guinea pigs, take care of these piggies, and allowing me to volunteer for the LA Guinea Pig Rescue. So thank you so much for checking out my shop. So now I wanted to I wanted to talk about this book and I wanted to go through some of the fun names. What's cool is it's broken up into different categories. So if I just scroll through, you have human names, terms of endearment, historical names, Greek and Roman mythology, religious names, royalty and titles, foreign words and names, literature, screen and television, and on and on and on. So I'm going to flip through this book and we're going to look at some names from some of these different chapters. But before I do that, let's meet my piggies. Let's meet all the piggies here. And people often say, oh, the names of your piggies are so crazy, especially when they hear names like Piggy Smalls, or let's see who else, Ron Weasley down here. So we're gonna meet all of my piggies and I'm gonna introduce you to them and of course I'll introduce you to them by their names. So you'll, who's coughing over here? That just reminds me. So if you hear your guinea pigs go <coughs> a lot of times that happens when they're drinking water or if they eat too fast, especially if they're eating fresh veggies. But a sneeze sounds more like <coughs> And guinea pigs should not sneeze. If your guinea pigs are sneezing more than once or twice a week, then that's something, I always say, if you hear your guinea pigs sneeze, then you need to be on high alert. And if you continue to hear them sneeze, that could be signs of a respiratory infection. Now, I've got a free guinea pig care guide, so scottysanimals.com, and that has a, a section in the care guide about illness. So I list some common illnesses, I have videos you know, I have over 400 videos and I put those videos in the articles. So if there's a video that relates to what I'm talking about in the care guide, I will have embedded a video about that. So I also hope that you would check that out because it's a free resource for everybody. And lots of people have messaged me thanking me and saying that it's really helped them out, uh, help them understand their piggies better and provide better care for them. So. I hope you will do that. I spent a lot of time and effort, and of course you can always contact me through my website, but I would hope that you would try to investigate whatever your question might be because you can be sure after 400 videos, I probably have a video that will answer your questions, but feel free to email me and message me through my contact form. So now let's meet my piggies, and then we'll come back and we will uh, we'll do some of these, we'll check out some of these names here. Well, this is Nails. You guys know Nails. Where's Piggy Smalls? There's Piggy Smalls. Hey, little Piggy Smalls. So I named Nails Nails. Piggy Smalls had the name when I... He was surrendered to me. And he was a big foster fail. Pipsqueak, of course. I named Pipsqueak because he was just a little Pipsqueak. And it's a perfect name for him. This is Billy right here. I'll tell you how he got his name in a minute. Here's Mike. And Mike's name was Mike when I got him from the West L.A. shelter, I believe. 
Papa, his name was Popeye, his name is Popeye, and he was already named Popeye. Dice, I named him Dice because there was no dice as far as his chances of getting into the rescue. And coincidentally, he has two spots on his back. There's Nate. I named Nate because he used to live with Snoop. My poor Snoop, who passed away much too young from a illness that just happened seemingly overnight. Nate but he's named after Nate Dog. Here's Gary. Gary is with an I, and he's named after the Garibaldi fish that we see off the California coast, the bright orange fish. There is, there's Cheech and his brother Tommy, and they were already named when they came here, Cheech and Chong. Don't chatter at me, Cheech. This is Ron Weasley and Gizmo, and they already had their names when I rescued them. Is that it? Did we get everybody? So those are my piggies, and I hope you enjoyed meeting them. Now let's go through some of these uh, names in the book. And remember, this book, a link to this book, will be in the description. And it's called The Best Pet Name Book Ever. It's... Uh, a Baron's book written by Wayne Bryant Eldridge. So, okay, let's go through it. And this is the third edition. There are a number of editions. Uh, there's even a newer edition, I believe, but I imagine that any edition is gonna give you plenty of inspiration for your piggies. So let's just go through appearance. So I guess it's, what is in a name? What's a name? That which we call a rose by any other name would smell as sweet. Obviously, that's from Romeo and Juliet, William Shakespeare. So let's just read this little introduction real quick so you can get a sense of what this book is like. The most obvious and simple way to name your pet is by its appearance. The basis for choosing a name works especially well for a new pet whose personalities and peculiarities have not yet revealed themselves to you. And... With guinea pigs, personality is everything, and it doesn't take very long for that personality to reveal itself to you. Um, when people come to the rescue, I'm a volunteer at the LA Guinea Pig Rescue, and when people come in, a lot of times, especially if they're new guinea pig owners, they do obsess about the colors or the, the fur style or the breed. And I have to remind people of two things. Number one, personality is what's really important. And the second thing, of course, is that we're a rescue. So help us out by, you know, adopting a piggy that has been there for a long time. Or, you know, sometimes people come in and they're like, who has been here the longest? Or who is the guinea pig that nobody else wants? You know, and those are the people that I bow down and I kiss their feet and I wash them with rose petal water. Because those are the people that make our lives and the lives of the piggies that we're trying to save so much better. So thank you to those people. If you're one of those people, thank you so much. So I've rambled on enough. Let's read some of these from the appearance chapter. Okay, Adobe, agate. Now, if you know me, you know I'm a, a rock collector and agate is uh, <laughs> one of my favorite stones. But albino, amber, ashes, baby bear, baby boy, baby doll, baby girl, Hey, baby girl. <laughs> baby kitty, badger, bandit, bat cat. I'm going to skip ahead a little bit. Uh, let's let's go to D. Droopy, dust mop, dusty, ebony, ellipse. Ebony, that's a sweet one. Ember, fancy, fang, fat boy, <laughs> fat cat, fatso, frosty, gray, hulk, hot dog, half pint. Half pint, that could be Pipsqueak's brother. I like that half pint. <laughs> okay, I'll just flip. Tippy, tiptoe, tomcat, toothpick, toy, tramp, trinket, tubs. Let's backtrack a little bit. Powder, pretty boy, pretty girl, pudgy, puff, puff ball. It's nice that it's alphabetical, obviously it would be, but okay. Wolf, wildcat. Okay, chapter two, personality. Personality, like appearance, is one of the most obvious characteristics 
upon which to base a pet's name. However, as I mentioned in chapter one, a new pet's personality might not fully emerge at first and may change as a, pet's, as a pet grows older. While it is important to remember these considerations when choosing your pet's name, a name derived from a dominant personality trait will usually prove more appropriate through your pet's life. Okay, amble, angel, anxious, apathy, attack, baby bear, baby, I feel like baby bear was in the, <laughs> the first chapter too. <laughs> go back here baby bear yeah okay so they are doubling up but still i don't feel cheated <laughs> dirt ball dodger dr jekyll dracula duster fearless goofy goonie grabber gremlin groovy and i actually have known some of these piggy names gunner gypsy ham there's probably a lot of hams out there happy happy cat hiccup highball hobo hokey honey hoover Hugger, Hunter, Ice, Impulse, Jaguar, Magic, Magic. That's a pretty cool name for, for a piggy. Oddball, Peepers, <laughs> Peppy, Pistol. Pistol's kind of a cool name. Prissy, Puddles, Punch, Pushy, Quick, Radar. I believe I named a guinea pig Radar once. Rambler, Ranger, Rascal, Rebel, Rogue, Rough. So before I forget, in the comments, what are the names of your piggies? And or what is a name that you've always wanted to name a piggy? I get so many suggestions all the time, but I really would love to hear what your piggies are named or uh, what names you've always wanted to name your piggies or what are some of the craziest names you've ever heard? Saskia, the director of the LA Guinea Pig Rescue, she uh, obviously, if you watch my videos, you know there's a goose named Weed Whacker, and that's such an appropriate crazy name for a goose, but it's so sweet. Weed Whacker. Um, let's keep going. Runner, Sassy, Saucy, Scamp, Scarlet, Schizo, Scooter, Scout, Scrapper, Scratches, Screwball, Shadow. Shadow would be a really sweet name. Now that we've got the gist of how this book works, let me go back to the table of contents. We just read appearance and personality. The next one would be human names, terms of endearment, historical names, Greek and Roman mythology, religious names, royalty and titles, foreign words and names. So let's see how many more chapters. Okay, I'll just go through all of them. Religious names, royalty titles, foreign words and names, literature and art, screen and television, location and places, unusual names and nicknames, cartoon characters, just for fun, sports, transportation, nature and science, foods, liqueurs and drinks, fashion and cosmetics, pairs and trios. And then registering your name with the American Kennel Club. What's that all about? Is that just for dogs? <laughs> if your dog will be registered by an American Kennel Yeah, okay, never mind. That's for dogs. <laughs> Okay, so going back to the table of contents, I really like the idea of pairs and trios. So if you did have an adopted bonded pair and you wanted them to have a cute name, a lot of times at the rescue, we'll take a name like, um, you know, who's, 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 somebody, who's somebody famous? I'm trying to think. Uh, I don't know. Well, let's just say Han Solo. One of them might be Han and the other might be Solo or something like that. Um, but so I'm I want to read some of those. But before I do that, I thought that uh, let's let's check out literature and art. That's chapter 10, page 113. Um, well, actually, before that, listen to this foreign words and names. OK, well, I'm not sure when this book was was printed. Hopefully it's not offensive. You never know when you go back in time. As far as, okay, 2000, original, 1996. So hopefully it wouldn't be too offensive as far as foreign names. Um, okay, but so, Avogado, Agape, Allegra, Aloha. Aloha would be an awesome name for a piggy. Amigo, Amore, Azul. I'm pretty sure that we've had an Azul. Bebe, Bello, Bianco, Bijou. And it, and it says also what it is. So bijou is the French word for jewel. Oh, I didn't really, I didn't know that. Um, boca, Spanish word for mouth. Bonito, pretty. Canela, that's the Spanish word for cinnamon. 
Celia is little heavenly one. Chansu, Japanese for chance. Chico, young man, of course. Cinco, Spanish for five. So there's some fun ones. Um, dolce, Italian for sweet. Dos, Spanish for two. Feliz, Italian for happy. Feo, Spanish for ugly. Don't name your guinea pigs Feo. <laughs> Frida, German name for a female. Uh, Frieden, German for peace. Frijol, Spanish for bean. What's what's a Spanish word for potato? <laughs> Gato, Spanish word for cat. Gris, Spanish for gray. Hombre, Spanish for man. Okay. Let's see. Any more foreign names? Uh, huh. Kuta is an Egyptian name for the female cat. Kochka is Russian for cat. Oh, that's interesting. K-U-I, Kui. Actually, it says here is the Hawaiian name for roar. That's crazy. Or not name for roar, but that's Hawaiian for roar. I like that. That's cool. So here's some more. Uh, suma, the Latin word for the most. Sushi. We, we all know sushi. Uh, we had a sushi at the rescue, and he was there for so You guys know the story of sushi. He was there for so long. He was kind of wild and aggressive, and he always failed boy bondings, and... We were, he was on the, the chopping block list to get neutered, but then a, a spayed female came into the rescue and somebody thought, hey, let's try them out. And it was love at first sight. It was so amazing. And, and so they bonded instantly and lived happily ever after. Trace, Spanish word for three. Uno, Spanish word for one. Vaquero, that's the Spanish word for? That's right, cowboy. Good job, you guys. <laughs> okay, so... There's a whole bunch more. There's just, you know, so many names in here. This is a really fun book. Okay, BB. BB. We're almost done. We're almost done. We're just going to do a few more. Because um, I don't want to spoil this whole book. But I think that this is one of these books where it's a great reference. And I'll put the link in the description. You could probably find it used on Amazon for a couple bucks. So, and also on eBay. I'll put a link to both of those and you see if you can find a deal. Okay. Literature and art, Adonis, the title character in the Shakespeare narrative poem, Venus and Adonis. Agatha Christie, well, obviously she's a, a writer. Um, Aladdin, let's see, let's keep going. Antony, Ariel, it says here, a delicate spirit in the Shakespeare play, The Tempest. Oh, okay, but it's also, as we know, uh, a Disney princess. Okay, let's see. What else do we have? Aristophanes, a Greek comedy writer. Uh, probably not a good guinea pig name. <whistles> Come here, Aristophanes. Aristophanes. <whistles> it doesn't quite roll off the tongue. Banshee. That's a pretty awesome one. What else? Baron. Ben. Beowulf. Beowulf would be a pretty cool name. Or even Beopig. Well, that kind of sounds like Bay of Pigs, so maybe not. Okay, Be Beavis. In here it says Beavis is a large hound that was a prominent figure in Sir Walter Scott's no novel Woodstock. Just goes. You're, you're starting to see the limitations of my education because to me, uh, everyone. Well, this is Bevis actually. There's no A, and I'm pretty sure that uh, <laughs> Beavis. Uh, shut up, Beavis. Bilbo Baggins. Here's an interesting. Um, an interesting uh, anecdote. So when Billy first, well, Billy was born at the rescue and I adopted him at about four weeks. And I wanted to name him Benny after Benny Goodman, the uh, jazz clarinet player, because I love jazz. I was collecting a lot of records and, you know, Benny Goodman will blow your mind. If you don't know who I'm talking about, check him out. Uh, maybe I'll put a link right here to uh, a Benny Goodman concert video on YouTube, and that will just send you down the jazz rabbit hole. But if you don't like that music, if you don't think that Benny Goodman, if he doesn't knock your socks off, then there's something wrong with your socks. 
<laughs> but Bilbo Baggins, I wanted to name Billy Benny. And my girlfriend at the time, she said, no, let's name him Bilbo because he had he was a little cooey, a little baby cooey, and he had these big feet and big hands, and she thought, you know, he looked like a little hobbit. So he was Bilbo for about a week, and then I just started calling him Billy. Um, and the rest is history with, with little Billy. Okay, what else do we have? Big Red, Bion, Blackie, Blanche, Bodger, Bond, James Bond, Brownie, Buck, Bullseye. Bullseye is a pretty cool name. Caliban, that's a, another character from The Tempest. Katarina, Edgar Allan Poe, a large tortoiseshell cat that belonged to Edgar Allan Poe and his wife, Virginia. That's really cool. Um, Charlotte, of course, in this case, they're talking about the, the spider in Charlotte's Web. Um, the Cheshire Cat, Cinderella, Clifford. <laughs> if you had a big red piggy, you could name him Clifford. That would be, that would, Billy could actually be Clifford. Uh, Don Juan, Duke. Duke's a pretty cool name. Classic Nate. Classic Nate. <laughs> okay, let's skip ahead. That's plenty of literature. Mozart, though, I see. Wolfgang. Well, it's, I mean, that's, oh, literature and art. So he's obviously a musician, you know, a composer. Picasso. Puck. You know, I think we've had a lot of these, you know, because after thousands of guinea pigs, after, you know, I've been volunteering there for almost 10 years, and Saskia has been doing it for almost 20, probably. And uh, you run out of names, and she definitely has a talent for, for naming, naming piggies. Although sometimes I, I, I question some of the names. Okay, so screen and television. Let's just roll through some of these real quick. Abbott, Al Pacino. <laughs> so hey, what I was saying before is you might have a pair of pigs, and one of them would be Al, and one of them would be Pacino. I don't really like splitting the names up like that. That's kind of weird to me. Um, Anthony Hopkins. <laughs> Here, Anthony Hopkins. <laughs> so this video is almost 20 minutes long so far. I, I, I apologize, but, you know, this is this is fun for me. I hope it's fun for you guys. Um, so let me just scroll through. I'll do a few more of these screen and television. And then um, Bubba from Bubba Gump. And, and then we'll uh, we'll do the trios and, and the, the duos. And then we'll... <laughs> Burt Reynolds, Butch Cassidy, uh, Charlie Chaplin, Carson Daly is in here. Congratulations, Carson. You made it. That's... Very strange. Chewbacca. How many guinea pigs have, do you know named Chewbacca? Fonzie. That's a pretty cool name. Fraser Crane is even in here. This is a very strange. Gene Hackman. <laughs> Every guinea pig you just name him Gene Hackman. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, George Burns. George C. Scott. Ginger Rogers. Jack Lemon. John Voight. Joker. I'm pretty sure there's been a bunch of Jokers. I mean, pigs named Joker. Lassie. Larry. They're talking about the Three Stooges Larry, but of course it could be Larry David. Uh, Maverick. I know we've had some of those. McLeod. Meatball. Meathead. Mel Gibson. Don't name your guinea pig Mel Gibson. <laughs> Mickey Rooney. Mike Judge? There you go, Beavis and Butthead. I don't know why he's in there. Who, what would you name your dog, Mike Judge? Very strange. Uh, but if you haven't seen Office Space or Idiocracy or the Beavis and Butthead movie, Mike Judge is a really underrated and fantastic director, as well as I totally recommend King of the Hill. Uh, it's such an, uh, What he's able to do with character, it's just pretty impressive. So Paul Newman, Pebbles, Pepe Le Pew. You can name your guinea pig Pepe Le Poop. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> if I wasn't filming a video, I'd still be reading this and talking to myself. There's a little insight. Let's see. Peter Pan, Pluto, Pocahontas, Popeye. I've got a Popeye. Let's see, is there a pipsqueak in here? Um, let's scroll through. Sapphire, Scar. Scar, that's from The Lion King, right? Um, Shirley MacLaine, Shirley Temple. Shogun, that'd be a pretty cool name for a piggy. All right, so uh, look, locations and places. Acapulco, Burgundy, Burma, Chad, Zimbabwe, Waco. Don't name your guinea pig Waco, that's just weird. Because people might think it's wacko. Okay, we we'll skip ahead. Sports, unusual names. Uh, transportation, Ferrari, that'd be kind of cool. Honda, that's a little weird. Jaguar, Jalopy, don't name your guinea pig Jalopy. How much? 5% left. Okay, I better wrap this up before we uh, before the, the camera shuts off. Hmm, nature and science. Blizzard. Cobra, Comet, Cotton, Coyote, Flower, Fox, Mars, Panda, Shark. Hey, Shark! I don't know if you're going to see this video, but Shark is one of my friends. And if you haven't followed her on Instagram, well, actually, her guinea pig, Petunia of Pittsburgh. That's where you will find Shark and, and Petunia. Petunia is a very sweet guinea pig. Uh, Willow, Wolf, Worm, X-Ray, Zebra. Venus, Uranus, don't name your guinea pig Uranus. 
even if they flare their butts. <laughs> okay, so I promised we're going to skip ahead liquors and drinks. However, look, Starbucks and spritzers. Okay, we'll skip ahead. So pairs. This is uh, We'll do pairs and we'll do trios and then we'll wrap this thing up because I guess we got to get on with our day, right? Okay, pairs. Let's see. Bogey and Bacall. Bonnie and Clyde. Cagney and Lacey. Calvin and Hobbes. Now that's a great one. Uh, if you don't know those first few that I just mentioned, you're going to have to uh, look them up. Adam and Eve. Uh, well, actually, some of these were... Uh, Unless you have a, a, a neutered or, or spayed guinea pig, you're probably not going to have... Uh, but look, Cheech and Chong is, is right here. And actually, that's the name of, of my foster boys down here. I renamed him Tommy. It's Cheech and Tommy. But everyone knows that it's Tommy Chong. But I just thought, you know, Chong... I'd rather call him Tommy because I just like to call him people names. Let's see. Goodness and Mercy, Happy and Sad, Groucho and Harpo. Actually, there's a ton of Marx Brothers, so you've got a bunch to choose from. Hunky and Dory. That's a little weird. Itsy and Bitsy. That's a little cutie. North and South. Uh, Nip and Tuck. Kit and Caboodle. Um, see, the only thing is, you know, not to get morbid, but if you were to lose one of your piggies, then the names have less significance. Porgy and Bess. Sunny and Cher. Again, a lot of the Simon and Garfunkel, I'm pretty sure we've had one of those. Actually, right now at the rescue, there is, uh, or there was a few weeks ago, uh, what was it? Um, Garfunkel and, um, what's that other duo? Gosh, gosh. Um, oh, they sing, uh, uh, she's a man-eater, Hall and Oates. There was an Oates and a Garfunkel. That's a pretty strange pair. But they'd make some pretty cool music, I bet. Topsy and Turvy. Waylon and Willie. Okay, so let's go to trios now. Now, if by any... If, wow, there's only a few trios. That's kind of crazy. There's only, like, a few of these here. Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Larry, Moe, and Curly. Peter, Paul, and Mary. Good, Bad, and Ugly. Don't name your guinea pigs Good, Bad, and Ugly. Blood, Sweat, and Tears, Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail. Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail. Gosh, I feel like that's a Disney movie, but I can't remember which one. Do you guys know? Um, upstairs, Downstairs, and Mezzanine. Okay, I feel like this chapter is a, a, a fail. But, uh, okay, we'll do one last one where I'll close my eyes and I'll just go boom. And this will be the last name. And then I want to read the names in the comments that you guys have. Oh, I landed on a cat picture. So let me try that again. Uh, and this, this next chapter was unusual names. So let me just go right here, right there. Skippy. Oh, I, my finger landed in between Seminole, Skippy, Skitter, and Serendipity. But we also have Tootles, Toot, Spike, Spooner, Snooby, Yo-Yo, Zack, Wizzo, Zip, Wicket, Wicket, that's from the Ewoks, um, Taboo, Sunny, Stud, Spiky, Spiker, Speed Bump, Speed Bump, that's totally a name that like Saskia would come up with, Smitty, Slugger, Squiggles, Sheba, I have a friend from high school named Sheba, and uh, she did does live up to her name, she's just an amazing person, very smart, very beautiful, very uh, incredible, and a wonderful mother. And, and her, her kid, who's growing up to be just an a incredible person. So I guess what I mean to say with that is that names can really reinforce these personalities. So um, what is in a name? Everything. But... You know, how long are you going to go if you just adopted a piggy without knowing, you know, without naming them? Uh, I feel like maybe a week or so, and then you better kind of, you know, settle on something. You can always change it later. When I first adopted BB, his name was Tweety, and that is just incredibly unimaginative. And the way it evolved to BB was one day I was singing, He's rocking in the treetops all day long, rocking and a bopping and singing his song, rocking Robin, tweet, tweet, tweetly tweet. But I would sing it like a baby, so I went tweet, tweet, beebity beep, and I used to call him Tweety, but I would say, Hey Tweety, hey beebity beebity. 
he's getting mad at me, but I would I would say Tweety as baby talk and it just ended up as BB. And of course I love blues and I love BB King and that's not what it's related to, but uh BB just stuck and 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 I really love that as a name. So, anyways, I hope you found this interesting or fun or I'm just impressed that you hung with me to the end, but I'll put a link to this book in the description. I'll put a link to it on Amazon and eBay, and maybe you can find a used version of it. So thanks for watching, guys. I can't wait to see the names that you guys have in the comments. All right. See you next time.